All right, on the Flight Raid Master, let's talk about dealing with separating a RTV sealed oil pan and the fun that can be, and obviously the tools that go with it. So I don't know how a sheet metal oil pan can be leaking like a sieve and not want to just fall off. Some of the worst gasket separation issues I've ever had have been on a sheet metal oil pan attached to a upper oil pan that's aluminum, and the suckers will not come off. So we're gonna talk about the tools to get them off. Okay, so first, word of advice. Sell a oil pan. If you are taking a sheet metal oil pan off, probably a good idea to sell one. I've bent too many flanges and had a few too many comebacks to not wanna sell a new pan. I've had some so stuck on that the actual oil pan was twisted from prying in two different spots. It was stuck on the two corners and those two corners that I got under wouldn't come, wouldn't pry loose and wound up bending it. So do yourself a favor and get a new oil pan. All right, so first weapon of choice is just a dead blow hammer. We've all been there, we've all sitting there, bam, 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 dent the oil pan. Been there, done that. So the next option is something like a putty knife. This is a gasket scraper from Snap-on. You put it in there between the, the flange and the upper oil pan, making sure it's flat, and then you take, and you take and hit it in, and then you keep trying to go around. I've broken these. I'm surprised I still have this one. I've dug it up and still in my toolbox, but I've broken these. It wasn't a Snap-on, I think it was a, uh, another brand, but I know I've broken at least one of these doing that. The next option up is a more physical scraper, like this one with a little thicker thing. And the only problem with these is they do have a little tendency when you get them a little, little, little off to dig in. So you gotta be careful with that. Now, quick note about aluminum to aluminum pans usually aren't as bad for whatever reason. And usually they have a little notch somewhere in them that you can go in there and pry against and separate them. Hondas are real good about that. You can use something like one of these indexing pry bars. You know, you probably should have one of these anyway because they're really handy. I've got a whole kit or something like this lady slipper. Those sometimes work, sometimes don't. They're sometimes two angles just wrong. So your mileage will vary. Now I'm gonna talk about the best options. Now I've been using one of these tools for several years and it is the best tool I have found for separating these kind of oil pans. Now it's made by JTC. This is patterned after an OEM tool. I've seen it in Toyota's literature and I've seen it in other manufacturers' literature. Don't know who makes the original OEM but mine is JTC, part number is 1315. I'll try to link these in the description, but it is a sharp little blade with a block on it and a handle. And what you do is you take that, like that scraper, take a hammer, boom, 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 underneath it, and then you work it down the seam. Because of the blade design, it doesn't dig in very often. It's actually curved on the top, so when you're striking it, it doesn't actually dig in anywhere. And one problem I have is the little handle. Usually, if you're not holding it, yeah, it drops. So this might actually be a better version. Now this is made by Lyle, and it has a permanently attached handle with a nice little grip on it. It's a slightly different design. Now the blade is actually backwards compared to the JTC, the, the kerf is down. I don't know how well that'll change anything as far as that, but same concept. You knock it in, then you knock it down the row, break it loose, and you might actually save that oil pan. But those are the best tools I have found for separating those steel oil pans with RTV. I, I, I still can't believe sometimes I've seen ones that's pouring oil and like 
you can't get it loose. <laughs> like you have to run this almost the entire length of the oil pan to get it to come loose. So hope you enjoyed this video. As always, thanks for watching. I am the Fly Raid Master.